Welcome to the Interval Zero video on monitoring and analyzing custom events in RTX 64. In this video, we provide a high level look at what custom events are and show you how to collect them in a monitoring session and display them in Tracealyzer, a diagnostic tool that provides a visual representation of the events that occur during a monitoring session generated by the RTX 64 monitor utility. Custom events are user-defined events generated by real-time API RT-GenerateEvent. Each custom event has a unique user-selected identifier between 0 and 999 inclusive, specified by the API's kind parameter. The buffer parameter points to a memory region containing up to 500 bytes of custom event data. When creating a custom event, you choose the ID value and data that is meaningful to you. Here we see code for a sample application that includes two custom events. These custom events have unique IDs of 101 and 102 respectively. You'll need to remember these unique custom event IDs to create monitoring session start or stop triggers for them in RTX 64 monitor, as we'll show you in a bit, and to find those events in Tracealyzer. Once your application contains one or more custom events generated by RT-GenerateEvent, you can collect them in monitoring session output generated by the RTX 64 monitor utility. By default, custom events are selected to be collected in new monitoring sessions, as shown here in the RTX 64 control panel. If for some reason default collection of custom events is turned off, you can choose to collect them by selecting the custom events group in the RTX 64 monitor utility. This will ensure custom events are collected in every monitoring session that occurs while the subsystem is running and monitoring is enabled. You can associate monitor events, including custom events, with session triggers to start and or stop event collection automatically. You can create session triggers for all custom events or for single custom event IDs. Session triggers are not required for custom events, but they can reduce the size of a monitoring session by limiting the time during which events are collected. To create session triggers for all custom events, drag the custom events group name into a trigger section. To create a session trigger for a single custom event ID, drag the drag to create trigger by custom ID tree node into a trigger section and then enter the custom ID of the custom event. The custom ID corresponds with parameter kind in the RT Generate Event API. For example, if we wanted to create a start trigger for custom event ID 101 from the sample code shown earlier, we would enter the value 101 in the custom event ID field. For triggers to take effect, you must click the Set Trigger button to apply them. Once a session is started, start triggers are no longer set. Tracealyzer is a diagnostic tool created by Persepio that provides a visual representation of the events that occur during a monitoring session generated by the RTX 64 monitor utility. See the overview of monitoring and Tracealyzer video for a high level look at this workflow. If your monitoring session contains custom events created by RT Generate Event, you can display and graph those custom events in Tracealyzer. Tracealyzer provides a visual representation of the events that occur during a monitoring session. When a monitoring session file is opened, Tracealyzer displays the full high-level view of the session in the Trace view. Trace view displays all recorded information on either a vertical or horizontal timeline. Each core has its own timeline. Cores on which there is no activity do not appear. See our video Navigating Monitoring Session Data in Tracealyzer for tips and tricks on finding the events that interest you the most. The events belonging to a thread are displayed as text labels in the trace view. The color of the label indicates the event type. In Tracealyzer, custom events are called user events. User events are not displayed by default. To display them in the trace view, you need to select user event channels in the filter view. We can now see the yellow text labels for our custom events in the trace view. By default, custom event text labels include the word custom followed by the event's unique ID, which corresponds to parameter kind in real-time API RT Generate event. We can customize this text using an XML file as we'll show you in a bit. 
Tracelizer provides more than 30 views of application behavior, including scheduling and timing, interrupts, and interaction between threads and user events generated from your application. When analyzing custom events, there are two views you'll want to display. The user event signal plot all channels view, which is displayed by default, and the user event signal plot advanced view, which you'll need to turn on through the views menu or navigation bar. The user event signal plot views display data values from custom events. Each plotted curve represents a signal, which is essentially a filter that is applied on all user event strings to extract the values to plot in the form of a regular expression and some related settings. The All Channels view is a simple custom event plot view. It plots the first numeric raw value of any custom event, ignoring all formatting. This view behaves as if there is one signal defined for each custom event kind, 0 to 999, that extracts the first integer or floating point number from the textual representation of each custom event. In this view, the numbers from each custom event kind appear as a different colored line. Since the kind of custom event never changes, the lines are always horizontal. When a monitoring session output contains multiple custom events, you can choose which events to display by toggling selection of the events in the list to the right of the graph. The advanced view includes additional options, including the ability to set up and graph for one or more signals via the Signal Setup dialog. This view extracts values from the formatted strings using regular expressions. For example, if you were to store a single int or float in a custom event, parse it using a custom event XML definitions file and then plot it using the advanced view, you'll effectively convert the binary value to a string and then parse the string back to the same binary value and then plot it on the graph. Unlike the all channels view, the lines in the advanced view can be curved because the value extracted from a custom event can change over time. You can define how custom events are displayed through the RTX64 settings panel in the Tracelizer settings menu. Under default custom event format, you can determine how to handle all custom events that don't have individual parsing rules. Alternatively, you can specify an XML format file that contains parsing rules for individual custom event kinds, overriding the default format. If you want to display the raw data in a custom event, you will need to use an XML format file to parse the binary names from that data and convert it to string form. Tracelizer provides a simple XML format file that includes various examples of parsing rules. You can use this sample as a reference when you create your own XML format file. For this video, we've created our own XML file to define parsing rules for the two custom events in our monitoring session data, KIND 101 and KIND 102. Here we've defined a channel for each custom event. The channel text specified here will replace the default text in the custom event labels and trace view once we import our XML file and define custom user event signals. To use a custom XML file, import it in the RTX64 settings panel under Custom Events Format File. With our XML file imported, we now have data in string form, and we can use the Signal Setup dialog, available from the User Event Signal Plot Advanced view, to create signals with regular expression patterns to extract one number from the string to be graphed. The Signal Setup dialog displays all your signals in a list view. Tracelizer provides a predefined signal called Simple User Event Plot. You can edit that signal or create new signals as needed. For this video, we'll import two custom signals, each with its own regular expression pattern. Custom Signal 1 specifies a cosine value while the other custom signal 2 specifies a sign value. The signal definitions instruct Tracelizer how to extract those numbers from the custom event. Once applied, we can see the relationship between these two signals in the user event signal plot advanced view. We can also see that the user event signal plots all channels view now also plots our two custom signals. We can also see that the text in the custom event labels in the trace view updated to match the channel definitions in our custom XML format file. 
This concludes our overview of monitoring and analyzing custom events in RTX 64. For more information, see the product documentation installed with the RTX 64 SDK and available online at intervalzero.com and watch the other monitoring related videos on our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.